See, alright, so first and foremost, I want to give all praises and our glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Kakadash. We say the man's a person, and Elohim's agreement, and the ruler that teaches our person in truth. And we see how the teacher and solely act, and must push one on truth and sincerity, day in and day out, and are constantly in season and season with Shalom. Now, once again, go into our video here, and let's basically touch on upon these articles, as you can see, particularly the first one for the headline, right? Because when it's for the headline, you know, it spark a topic at the middle, which which goes into the people that that that, that will continue things are going to get. Things are peaceful, or things are going to get um, peaceful, or or or, or um, evil is not going to happen, right? So the first thing is they say China wants Taiwan independence and peace are um, irreconcilable, right? So China literally telling them, yo, it's not going to have no peace. What we're going to do here is straight to the point, you know. If it's war, it's war, right? That way it say and peace. It say China wants Taiwan independence. And peace are irrecon uh, irreconcilable, right? <laughs> it's only one option, right? Um, um it's about video and meme that has been going around. Um, I don't want peace. Uh, um, we say is our our trouble always or something along those lines, right? Now, as I said, as I say, and peace are irreconcilable. This 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 is just to show you that hey, you're not going to have peace upon this place. Right, no matter where it is you turn to, you look left, you look right, you look up, you look backwards. No matter where it is you be, you look at this particular country, you look at that country, there is no peace upon the earth. There is none. You're seeing wars, you know, you're seeing afflictions, you're seeing famines, you're seeing some sort of great calamity happening, some sort of, um, you know, something, you know. And all the things that happen is prophecies, prophecies that the Lord said that would happen. So these people outside here that teaching, you know, peace, are teaching safety you know things going and get better right you know things gonna get better upon this place you understand those are what you will consider to be false prophets false teachers and you have to be you have to be aware of those guys right but things ain't gonna get better at all so that's why when i saw the headline i said when it's a peace are reconcilable yeah it had no peace to come upon this place right it have no peace to come upon upon here so even like when you go into the to the news Right, as you can see, this is like 14 minutes ago. It says Hezbollah says launch big rocket salvo at North Israel Tong. China Russia pledge to strengthen military cooperation. Um, um let's see here. Um US Embassy in Lebanon said on Monday its citizens are strongly encouraged to leave the country. No, so you've seen all these news, all these news, all these things happening here. That sound like peace to you. Is that peace? And no peace. Right? Let me bring a script here. Let me go to the book of Second Ezra, right? The book of Second Ezra, chapter 14, verse verse um 14 and read from verse 14. It says, Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen have been up happen shall be done here hereafter and as this scripture saying it here for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter so if you tell any greater evils than what you see gonna be done after what i mean things are gonna get better so where where would the peace you know these guys that be teaching the peace you know and again all the scriptures say talk about that peace and safety that they, they would that they would be talking about right but where would that peace be when all it is, no matter where it is you look at, no matter what it is you read, you know, you're, you're on the news, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, or you might be reading the papers, you might be just online browsing, you're seeing things that showing you there's no peace upon the earth, right? There's no peace upon the earth, no matter how much time they try to hide it, you know, that, um, you, you know the wicked do it. They try to cover up what is happening by, by making a, you know, putting on a, a comedian show, you know? Have, have you all with these TikToks and all these things, right? <laughs> all the laughing, kicks in, thinking it's a joke, you know? While these, as I say here, you know, the um, greater evils come in, come in, right? That you all thinking everything is still a game, a kicks, laughing, you know, mockery, scoffing and all these things. But there shall be no peace upon this place, right? Um, verse 17, it says, for look, how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. So the scripture says, so much the more 
shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Right? So if he, uh, if he described this line, no. As I say, evil shall increase upon them that dwell therein. And hey, we dwell in here. So we feel going and take place. You feel the evil just going and bypass? No. You feel peace is going to come? No. You say evil shall increase. And that is what we've seen. We've seen the evils increase into the fact where, you know, this literally every single hour, you see some sort of news. Like, like I, 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 know, I know run through this, this one news page. Right? You're seeing, you're seeing viruses. You know, you're seeing, you're seeing outbreaks of um, diseases, you know, upon people. You know, right now, I, I was reading something. I, I was reading a, a, some articles, some new stuff about this OnlyFans thing. How, how it's just full of diseases, you know, full, full of sicknesses. Some uncurable, right? And, and, many, and many other stuff that's coming. We've seen the famines. We've seen the wars. You know, this this all this here. The rumors of the war. We've seen the uproars of the people. <clears throat> Does that seem like peace to you? That's so what the scriptures say. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Right? So much the more so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. You understand? And that is what we're seeing. Now let me jump to our next scripture here. Let me go to the book of Jeremiah. Let me go to verse 14. Um, let me go to Jeremiah 14 from verse 13, right? It said, then said I, ah, Lord, then said I, ah, Lord God, behold, the prophets say unto them, ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you a, a short peace in this place. And that is what some of these prophets are outside here doing. You understand? They're telling all about, you know, things going to get better, you know, peace, no harm shall come unto thee. You know how, you know how these, these false prophets, you know how these seducers, these men outside here be they're gonna make it seem like you know nice things you know nice things make it seem like everything good right make it seem like if everything good everything nice you know yeah like we in a good estate when literally this when they look around it's just evil all around that, that, that's like when I, see, when I see the title I was like China wants Taiwan independence and peace are ir irreconcilable. I just to show you that that shit ready to pop off. Shit ready to pop off. Is that no game? But to these to these to these jakes out there, to these Israelites out there, for them is they, their main focus is upon some some TV show, some bodies and 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 they're talking about 50-50s and and dates and all this sort of bu bullshit, right? While these things happening and away uh, feel when, when this war happened, if it's not going to affect you, it's going on. The war that happened in the Middle East is, 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 the, is the bigger one, right? But all these little things you've seen all around, it, it, it's going to affect you one way or the other. And it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. So, so if you're listening to these prophets are telling you, as I say here, ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you a short peace in this place. You know? That, that that prophet telling them, I will give. Hey, yeah, I will make it. I sure, I sure that that uh, you know, peace is, is what going to come, right? It says verse fourteen. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I send them not, neither have I commanded them, neither speak unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and di and divination, right? And a thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart, and the deceit of their heart. Right? Because that is what they're doing. They're not speaking it. Because let me show you something. If they speak any things of the Lord, the Lord tell us what's what going to happen at the end. And the things that are mentioned to happen at the end is it, it the word peace not there. It's it not there. You know? The feeling of peace, you know, the concept of peace, it's not there. You're talking about wars, you're talking about pestilences, diseases, famines, you're talking about earthquakes, the natural disasters, you're talking about the uproars of the people, you know how people go be the cannibalism, all these things that, that are taking place. That song like that song like peace to you. 
but it are people that will literally they'll go to church or they will listen to these other guys these other camps and so forth are telling them things going to get better when it's not it's not right by what the scripture says, neither speak unto them they prophesy unto you a false vision and divination right and a thing of note and the deceit of their heart it said therefore Thus said the Lord God concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I send them not, yet they say, sword, um, sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed, because that's what's coming. You know, that's what's coming. So they will be telling you all, hey, nah, you see, they will be telling you all, and I, um, sword and famine shall not be in this land. It's not, nah, don't worry, things going to get good. You can see it with literally... You know, the mindset of, of people in America that they believe nothing going to happen to them. And they, they have these teachers that will tell them, yo, these men lying. You know, the Lord talk about, the Lord talk about repent and you're going to be safe and, 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 and the um, rapture doctrine and things they're going to be teaching, you know. The scripture say what? Sword and famine shall not be in this land, but sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed by, the, by what they tell telling you all that not going to happen, so shall they be consumed by it. You know? So shall they be consumed by it. Right? So, don't be listening to these guys that, that telling you all that, you know, these pastors and so forth that be telling you all that, hey, there's no peace. It's not. There's no peace there. There's no peace happening upon this place. Does this look like peace to you? You know, eight minutes ago, Nathan, um, Nathan Yahoo says Israel will mercilessly strike as ruler according to you know. So you see, that sound like peace to you? Does these things sounds like peace to you? <laughs> you know, peace here, you know. Jump into our next scripture. You know, this is the book of First Thessalonians chapter five, verse, verse um three. It says, "For when they shall say peace and safety." Then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not ex and they shall not escape. So the scripture says, For when they shall say peace and safety, and that is what these prophets also they're saying. And that is what some of these people also they're saying, you know, peace and safety. Right, so continuing. You know, this get a phone call but nonetheless so you say for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them and there are, there are people people outside there saying peace and safety as i say you know let's let's watch around and see the see these people outside there with the kind of things they're teaching kind of things they're saying and so forth right they're literally making it feel like everything's gonna get better and it's not that way it says sudden destruction cometh upon them right and that is what they want to know they will be like hey where, where has the lord you know pronounced this evil unto us you know they go be in that mindset Right? So don't feel everything. Hey, things things not going to get better. It's straight to the point. It's not. It's not. According to the scriptures, things are going to get worse. For all these things are the beginning of sorrows. If there is just the beginning of sorrows, it's going to get worse. Right? Let's say, um, let's say sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And the scripture says, and they shall not escape. So these, these prophets also they're telling all about the rapture doctrine and you'll be caught up before the destruction and all these things. That is false. Right? That is false. It's not coming out from that. You go in and face it. And plenty of all they say, plenty of gonna be weeping. You understand? For the sorrows that come upon all they're gonna be weeping and moaning. Right? And no peace to come upon this place. You see, these, these countries, these leaderships, these people outside here, they're not playing. They're straight out telling you, they're straight out telling another, another people, yo. And they're telling them, hey, peace is irreconcilable. You don't have that. It's time for war. That's what they're telling them. It's time for war. Right? Right? So stop thinking that uh, peace upon this place. So hey, with that we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yehovah, Ba Hashem Yehoshai, Ba Hashem Kakodash, 
We see the a person and elders agreements on a rule that the teachers of a person is true. And we see salutation, so the are coming to the push the truth and sincerity. Day in and day out in a constantly in season and season, we say, Shalom.